hello everyone welcome to Thai finance today it's your second day of your free course of skyrocket your finance knowledge and here you will learn how to analyze a profit and loss statement an income statement or also called the PL. so here in front of you you can see a basic profit and loss statement from 2016 17 and 18 it's a three-year profit and loss statement report where you can see all the sales of the company cost of goods sold gross margin and so on until you go you get to the net income which is basically all the profits well this is a basic uh, profit and loss statement and I'm gonna teach you uh, the basic analytical tools to analyze the, the PNL, which is the vertical analysis. In this case, all income statement items will be divided by the net sales or revenues to get a comparative percentage of all the items. So we can see the changes over time and the weight that every item has over sales. So the way to prepare the vertical analysis, it's very simple. For this purpose, I will just unhide some things that I prepared before. And as you can see, I just added just a new column after every year. So we can put the data here. So as I said, the vertical analysis is just percentages and proportions of sales so the the sales it will be the hundred percent on the three years so we will just put it like that and then we will start calculating with Excel okay I will I will give you some tips on how to start preparing the formulas to start a formula you just have to press shift equal and this tells Excel that you are starting a formula so because we are dividing all the items with revenues you just have to press the item and divide it by sales and because it's a percentage we will multiply it by a hundred so it gives us a, a, a number and you can after that you can like round it up with these two buttons okay so i'm gonna show you one small trick and it's a trick to fix the formula it's for example if you highlight this and press command t you will see that appears two two small dollar signs between these two numbers and this will tell excel that you want this number d five fix and this way when we drag down the formula with this in this corner it will calculate the same way all the other numbers so we just have to press enter and here is the result and when I drag the the little square down it will calculate automatically all the other numbers as you will see for example if we press 27 we can if we press twice we can see the formula here and it will show it like d7 divided by the fixed one which is d5 and times 100 because it's a percentage so that's how we calculate it and here we can see already an analytical tool all these numbers tell us for example that 73 percent it's a cox out of sales and the gross margin is 27 percent so we can see already the the proportions of these numbers divided by sales so we can see that out of every all of all of the revenues we have a four percent of net income and we have uh, for example operating expenses of 19 percent and we have a decent gross margin of 27 so let's continue with the other ones so we can 
analyze the changes in percentage over the years and we will do the same thing divide this with revenues multiply it by 100 and fix this small item with command T I'm using command T on a Mac and I guess on a PC is F4 so just be aware of that detail 72 and now I can drag all the numbers I will continue now and do the final one I will multiply it by 100 because our percentages and I will fix this okay now that everything is ready we can see the changes over time for example the cost of goods sold decrease over time and that will give us a better gross margin and actually we can see an increase in net income even though sales decrease like from 88,000 to 75 233,000 so this is a, a great way to see the numbers because you can have another perspective clear all the the let's say the visual noise of an income statement because you know after because of having many many numbers like here it's difficult to to give us an idea it's like cutting the trees to see all the forest so this is basically the vertical analysis. Well, see you next time. Thank you for listening.